Now, the ideal gas equation, which is equation 8.5, is very useful for calculating pressures, volumes, and amounts of ideal gases. And it's very straightforward to use. But I have to tell you that by far the most common mistake that students make is getting the units wrong. So you need to think very carefully about the units you're using. And that the units that you're using will depend on the value of the gas constant, R, that you're using. Normally, you'll be using the SI value, which is 8.314 joules per Kelvin per mole. And if you're using that value, then your pressure will be in pascals. And remember that one pascal is equal to one newton per square meter. Your volume will be in meters cubed. And remember that one meter cubed is equal to a thousand decimeters cubed. So if you've got decimeters cubed, you'll have to convert. Your amount of gas will be in moles, and that's very straightforward. And the temperature must be in kelvins. And if you've been given a temperature in Celsius, you're going to have to add 273.15 kelvins to the Celsius temperature to convert it to kelvins. So if you do all of those things and you're consistent with the units that you use, you will find that the ideal gas equation is very straightforward to use. And the way to make sure you get your units right is to always write down the unit alongside the number of every quantity. That way you'll stop yourself making mistakes.